So Eddie, what is yoga on the inside? Yoga on the inside is such an exciting system. You have to talk to the camera. <laughs> yoga on, hey, you monster. You're always coming in the picture. Yoga on the inside is a system of yoga which cultivates contentment in the internal environment. I've been teaching yoga for almost 40 years. And for many years, we were always concerned with performing the asana accurately. And that is important. The fundamental structural alignments of the poses are really important, but the internal environment is also really important. It doesn't make sense to create tension to try to make a pretty posture. So in yoga on the inside, we cultivate contentment on the inside and precision on the outside. In this practice of yoga on the inside, we're asking our students and ourselves to be in the postures, to hold the postures, and then to watch what bubbles up to the surface. In the practice of asana or postures, each student or practitioner will look very similar on the outside. They're making the same shape with the same fundamental structural alignments for each posture. But the experience that one might have on the inside is different for every single person. So really, when we teach yoga on the inside, we're teaching one-on-one -on -one in a classroom setting and trying to address all the different things that might be coming up for our students and just allowing them to navigate those feelings, those thoughts, those interactions with their individual bodies and circumstances through their practice of yoga. I came to yoga in a lot of pain. I was trying to get away from the pain. I, I was suggested that I should have surgery, but I asked my teacher, how do I get out of pain? And BKS Iyengar looked at me one day and he said, student, chase your pain. Chase your pain. You have to, in order to really relieve the body of pain, you have to feel it, you have to turn and face it. Stop running from it. Stop being afraid of it. Turn and face your pain, and that way you can alleviate your pain. I love yoga on the inside. Yoga on the inside stems from the tradition of Iyengar yoga that was created by BKS Iyengar and passed down to our teachers, Eddie being one of them for me, H.S. Arun for both of us, and Manuso Manos for both of us. And that practice of yoga on the inside and Iyengar yoga lineage saved my life. I could not continue to practice in the way that I was practicing yoga before. It was disintegrating my body and it was not really steering me towards evolution, which we are searching for in the practice of yoga. We're searching to use the postures, the breath, the concentration, the meditation, the withdrawing into ourselves, the moral and the ethical disciplines. We're using all of those, bringing them all together to try to evolve ourselves in this lifetime, on this planet, in this body. And that is what yoga on the inside really allows us to start to look at because it combines so many of the eight limbs of yoga into a daily practice and I'm so grateful for that. Yoga is a self-reliant healing system and it is a self-reliant healing system because you don't depend on anybody else to generate health from doing this practice. You just have to show up for yourself every day on your mat, develop some sensitivity as to what your needs are and embark on a journey 
of really taking care of yourself. I started practicing vinyasa yoga at a very young age in my late teens. And I did that for about a little over a decade. And I came to yoga, my body, my posture was very forward. My head was forward. My shoulders were extremely rounded. And the practice of vinyasa yoga for me was such that it put a lot of stress on my shoulders because I didn't have the openness to do what was being asked of me. And so I injured my shoulders in different ways. And then I was diagnosed with breast cancer about four or five years ago. And that experience made me have to slow down my practice. I had surgery that was very intense and there was no more Chaturanga Dandasana. There was no more flow and transitions or jumpings that were appropriate for my body. So I was really forced into changing the way that I was practicing the body that I came to yoga with, which I still had at that time, very rounded, sunken in. I worked at a computer for many, many years and it really influenced my posture. And right at that moment of my surgery, we were introduced to a teacher named H.S. Arun, who really opened the door to the cultivation of yoga on the inside and this meditative quality inside of the postures and holding the postures for more than five breaths or more than just a moment. And it was this type of work and bending my body over different supportive props that didn't make the practice easier, but it gave me access into my limitations, my challenges, and this is what we teach in Yoga on the Inside. We don't just want to teach a sequence to a room of people who have different needs. So it's a very individualized practice. And if you join our live classes, which are Monday through Friday from 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, then you will actually receive that individual attention and we'll be able to work more intimately with your limitations in your body and your emotions, your mind. And this is the greatest gift that we could give to you as a student of yoga on the inside.